Did Doctor Strange bring the Egyptian gods into the MCU? We're talking about that now. Guys, welcome back to the Jersey Comic Group. Chris and Rob here as always. And today, just as Rob said, we're discussing Doctor Strange's spell at the end of No Way Home. And did that affect the Egyptian gods coming into Moon Knight? Now, we know we just saw Arthur Harrow use his Amit staff to open what seemed like a portal in episode two that summoned the Jackal that went after Steven and Layla going yep. after that Scarab again. Now, my question to you is, Rob, this didn't happen till obviously after the events of No Way Home. We know there's another Doctor Strange movie coming up right next to this, right? That's going to explore, hopefully, the ramifications of the multiverse. So do you think there is some connection between Moon Knight's situation with the Egyptian gods and the multiverse being wide open right now? So I know this is a question that a lot of people are looking at because, you know, we see the purple portal, purple and purple. There's everything purple seems to be multiverse related and things are breaking. I don't think that the Egyptian gods necessarily are these beings from a different multiverse that they came in because of Doctor Strange's spell. I think they're very similar to like the Asgardians. I don't think they're necessarily like gods, right? Like actual god, like, like holier than that. I think they're just these very powerful beings from very far away. Just like the Asgardians, they're not gods. We just base our mythology based on them. They're just a different alien race, the Asgardians. So I think the Egyptian gods that we know them as are kind of the same thing. And we even see in the Eternals movie that a lot of the Greek and Roman gods are based like off the Eternals, right? And like stuff that we've seen. So I think these are just beings that are trying to, I guess, get to our planet because they know that like we're the center of the universe or whatever the case may be, or we, they need to come here. Things are fun and interesting. They were here for a little bit and then they went away. I think that's what we're seeing right here. And I think the reason Ahmed's locked away and needs the, you know, Arthur Harrow to find him is because like he's locked in a prison cell somewhere in the Egyptian God land, right? I think that's their own kind of thing. I think they're, they're beings that were always there, not necessarily from a different multiverse as much as, uh, as, as fun as that would be. So Rob, I see what you're saying about them possibly being like Asgardians and, and living in a different plane of existence. I don't necessarily think that's the case. I think they are multiversal beings, mm -hmm. but not on the same plane of existence that we are in the MCU. Now, why do you think that? So if they were here the whole time, per se, right? Yeah. In the perfect world, the Egyptian gods were already here during the MCU. Why would Mark Spector or Stephen Grant be the avatar they choose, right? Someone who has a split mind, who has trouble remembering. I mean, why not take like Steve Rogers or Tony Stark, like oh, one of the brilliant minds of our time, okay. and you know, make Moon America or Captain Knight. Yeah, you know, something, <laughs> makes, it makes something sense. ridiculous like that. Like, wouldn't they choose an avatar? Like, no, that's the one I want. Yeah, doing helping me out, not this like guy who works at a gift shop. So, with that, okay. I think the multiversal rift helped them get here or connect better. And by the multiversal rift, I mean the one from Loki. I mean the one with He Who Remains. Oh, not even not Doctor, Doctor Strange. Strange. Okay. No, I don't. I don't think Doctor Strange has anything to do with it. I think when it started in He Who Remains, that massive rift through space and time. Yeah. Right. The ramifications of we don't even know yet. We'll probably see it in Multiverse of Madness. But I think that started a domino effect, not only with overall multiverse stuff, but also in the MCU, where possibly yeah. Khonshu now had a clear line to be like, oh, I could get an avatar now or a new avatar, a better one, easier. And oh, Amit's wow. power grew a little bit and said, oh, I could get someone to, to kind of bring me back now. This multiversal rift opened, you know, the proverbial doorway mm -hmm. into that side of the MCU, which we have not seen anything like before. I really, I really like that you mentioned that. I didn't even think of that angle. Like they would have had different, um, like avatars. Like, yeah, why would you not grab like Captain America? right before he became like the biggest superhero in the world if they were here all along we'd probably see more of like connections with them i i could see that and like it's it's kind of hard to argue that like they would get people better than the two that they chose right especially with all the crazy talent that we've seen in this kind of thing and it makes sense i know like we as comic book fans and movie fans we're so focused on like dr strange's spell at the end of no way home because that's one of the biggest movies out and the multiverse of madness is right there that we tend to forget the Disney Plus show with Loki, right? Like that was the real breaking point of everything. And maybe these all happened at the same time. That fact isn't clear yet, but it makes sense that like he who's at the end of time and everything, like he's gone, everything splits apart. And now these stronger than life beings see the weakness in our multiverse and now is grabbing people. 
and maybe they're trying to find a way to get themselves summoned into our universe because their universe is you know not the greatest or whatever the case may be these are all obviously massive stretch theories guys but yeah it could be a possibility i don't think the egyptian gods are going to be stuff we've seen before i think the point of this is because it's something that we haven't fully seen the mcu done before i think the asgardians are their own thing they're they're more epic than life gods yeah come to life I think these Egyptian god monikers aren't going to be people we just see. Like, Khonshu's in the mind of Mark and Steven. Amit right now doesn't have a physical form. We have the staff that has some type of cosmic otherworldly power that clearly opens up these portals to other dimensions or teleports them from, you know, inside Amit's tomb, for all we know, right? So I think those things are going to play a bigger part in the MCU, kind of like these little spots that are like, hey, yeah. this multiverse broke. There's going to be some important things that happen and some weaknesses and some exploited weaknesses for villains and heroes to like. It makes it makes a lot of sense that we're going to separate the Egyptian gods from like the Norse myth mythology gods. And it, it kind of makes it a, a cooler dynamic that one is like actually here. One is more temporal in the mindscape and we get to explore that side of the MCU and that side of characters. But guys, we want to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you think Doctor Strange was the reason that the Egyptian gods were brought into it? Or are you in Chris's boat and you think it's the events in Loki? Or are you sitting with me and you think they were here the whole time? You got to let us know. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up, like, really helps the channel out a lot. If you're new, subscribe, turn on notifications. You do not want to miss any more of our Moon Knight coverage. You know exactly where to go for it. And if you miss anything, it's right here on the channel for you at all times. And as always, my name is Chris Heller. That's Rob Moran. We are the Jersey Comic Crew, and we'll see you next time.